Maggie for Essex TV. I'm here with the Whale Tones for Coffee House Sessions. Yeah. Okay. So, could you introduce yourselves for us? Hi, I'm the drummer, Matt. I'm lead singer, Luke. I'm the bass player, Pete. Uh, lead guitarist, Sam. And I'm the lead guitarist, Drew. <laughs> Lead guitarist. <laughs> and I'm the lead rhythm guitarist, Drew. Okay. So it's nice to meet you guys. So how are the coffee sessions going so far? Really, really good. Loads of fun. Nice um, playing to loads of different audiences and stuff like that. It's really, really good. We, we're getting a, we're getting a great we're getting great feedback from people. You know, everyone seems to really enjoy the suits. Yeah, they love the suits. <laughs> and the singing. And the singing, yeah. The suits are just going down amazingly everywhere. They love it. They love the, they love the suits. What is the name of your new EP? Uh, our new EP is Look Out, Here Come the Whale Tones. And it comes out on the 9th of March. Uh, on all platforms. Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, everywhere. And we're really excited. Yeah, we saw the album art the other day and it's amazing. So we're going to get some physical copies made up that you'll be able to buy as well. So, well, very exciting. So, what inspired your sound? Me. <laughs> Just you. Um, yeah, we're inspired by the 60s. Uh, Beach Boys, Frankie Valli, the Beatles, obviously. A uh, bit of a giveaway by the matching suits, I think. But, um, yeah, just a... <laughs> 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 just playing games <laughs> um, yeah so 60s uh, 50s stuff um, love back to the future as well and that all goes back to the 50s and that kind of retro feel yeah we love it so yeah okay so <laughs> 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 So how did you first like come together? We all met at um, the University of West London, right? And within that is the London College of Music, where we all study um, different music-related courses, um, like technology and performance, that kind of thing. So, and then Drew here. I'm going to pass over to Drew now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So we, I kind of. I wanted to put a band together and met met these guys and it just felt like the right time really to um, to, 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 to make it happen I suppose so yeah I don't know why you passed it over to me I'm just reiterating what you said I thought it would be better at describing how yeah I, I don't have a clue what I'm I don't even know what I'm doing here like that <laughs> just happy I don't know really. what I'm doing I thought I'm just going wherever you tell me to go so you guys said like <laughs> you alright yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys said you were inspired like by the Beatles in the 60s. Um, is there a particular reason for that? It's great, it's great music. It's, it's timeless. Um, we listened to uh, we did a tour bus, Let It Be, came on the radio the other day, and it, we, we all agreed that it would be it could be released today, and it would it would be a hit. So. Um, yeah, I mean they're they're the they're the biggest inspiration of the 21st century, 20th, 20th century music. You know, they're they're the guys. So yeah. the thing as well is that every boy, every band ever has always been compared. I'm sure it even happened to the Beatles when they first came out. They get compared to somebody, and I think like you could do a lot worse than the biggest band that's ever existed to be compared to. Um, so I think if we could even just come. 0.001% of, of the band that the Beatles were, that would be amazing, I think. We'd all be pretty happy. If you could have dinner with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I, thought about, I thought about this the other day. <laughs> I, um, like I'd take Taylor Swift out for a Nando's because she seems like the kind of girl that would appreciate a, a chilled out. Or Katy Perry out for a Nando's. She seems like quite fun. Yeah, why not? I bet they love Big Macs. <laughs> what about you then? Frank Sinatra, I reckon he'd be a great, great person to see. To converse with. Go and shoot you after. <laughs> <laughs> Restaurant dinner in an <laughs> Italian. <laughs> <laughs> like Goodfellas. 
I think um, probably the Queen. I'm not to go out for dinner with the Queen. The Queen. That's probably out of every, every, everyone famous. Like, it's got to be the most surreal experience. Why would you take Sitting the Queen? Down. Why wouldn't you take the Queen? Um, Costa. Why the Queen? Because, Costa. Because, <laughs> because the Queen is like the, I'd say she's in. I would, I would say out. She's one of the most. She she lives in like a mo, the, one of the most surreal environments you could ever live in. Your royalty. Like that. That's like that's so. Surreal, isn't it? So, I'd like, I want to have a sit down, have a coffee, and see what it's like. Get uh, this is the man that today found out what olives were. So, um, yeah. I, <laughs> I would like to, I did not find out what olives were. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't, I'd never seen them presented like that before. They were on a salad, and he said, I really like these black things, what are they? And just before, oh, just before oh, we, oh, great. Just before we came on, he went to me. I went to Tunisia, and <laughs> did you know they're the largest distributor of olives? Yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't even know what they are. Are we done now? <laughs> <laughs> um, it would be Jeff Lynn for me. Uh, I produce records as well, and Jeff Lynn is is my favourite producer of all time. He did some stuff in the 90s with the Beatles where they did some reissues. And he also produced, like, he was in Electric Light Orchestra, so Mr. Blue Sky and, and stuff like that, uh, those, those songs. And yeah, just a fantastic producer, and I just love to just hang out with him and steal all his secrets. Well, thanks for joining me, guys, and <laughs> good luck on your coffee hour sessions. Thank you. All right, okay. <laughs> And I know I'm just this bad bitch about you and you're not around Maybe it's a sign We're fighting all the time Cause the cracks are showing We're growing apart Say no